Hello. Today, I would like to talk to you about why mosquitoes are assholes. <laughs> and if you're wondering, why do I need a video to explain to me why mosquitoes are assholes? I already know this. <laughs> I have four particular real reasons why they are assholes that you may not have thought of. But first, I would like to establish my credibility for why I can speak with authority about the assholery of mosquitoes. <laughs> So first of all, you may be noticing the interesting backdrop. Um, this is my ninth day in Mexico. I'm currently in my beloved Mexico. I'm currently in Guadalajara, which is one of my heart homes. And um, it has been reminding me about the assholery of mosquitoes. So to establish my credibility, um, first of all, I am everyone else's repellent. So basically, if there is a mosquito in anywhere in the vicinity within a block radius or a mile radius, that motherfucker will find me and leave everyone else alone. So you can just call me Citronella. <laughs> By the way, there's going to be a lot more F-bombs in this video for very appropriate reasons. So caution to the younger viewers. Um, Another reason is that um, I have literally sampled or been sampled by mosquitoes all up and down the American continent. So I have been, I have sampled a buffet of mosquitoes. They have sampled me. So you can just call me Mosquito Ho. <laughs> One of my favorite stories about mosquitoes was in the Midwest in the early 90s. We were there for my grandparents, I think 50th wedding anniversary. And I think my sister was like nine or 10 at the time, something like that, or a teenager. And we were messing around outside, walking around, you know, going on a little hike. And we walked through this um, little empty lot that was actually full of thistles and greenery that were almost as tall as us, about four feet tall. And she was yammering on in front of me and I was behind her and suddenly I go, Nancy, stop for stop for a moment and she pauses she turns around we stop walking and like all the mosquitoes just went like right onto me like a magnet and she turned around and went ah, and ran screaming it was like a cartoon like her running screaming me running laughing after her and this big ass cloud like like pig pens dust cloud of mosquitoes falling after me so anyway uh, mosquitoes and I have a long complex history so here are the real reasons. Oh, and I've been, you know, getting bit by them in the last few days. So again, I, I've had some recent data to add to my database. So um, I have, I have notes. <laughs> the first reason that um, mosquitoes are assholes is that they're some greedy motherfuckers, okay? So it's not like they just take a bite and they move on. They're like, mm, that was tasty. I feel sated, I'm gonna go away now they will like keep going, at least on me. I don't know if I'm special or what, but it'd be like, I, I have had mosquito bites that look like track marks. Like they went here and then they went to the next spot and the next spot, like I'm a fucking corn on the cob. So they're greedy little assholes. They're not satisfied with just, you know, a little taste. The second is that they make you suffer long after they're gone. So, I don't understand why that has to be. Like, why can't you take a bite and then just go and be on your way? So for example, here are some bites that I got two nights ago. Look at that, okay? They are so itchy. They can't have anything on them. Like I put my socks and my shoes on to go on a little workout and they were on fire the whole time. Um, I've gotten mosquito bites that turned into like welts that big and thick that last for two to three weeks. I'm a little special when it comes to mosquitoes, but still, that's unnecessary. Why do you have to make me suffer and make people suffer so long after your ass is gone? <laughs> Third is, those fuckers make you paranoid, okay? So uh, there's a lot more mosquitoes in this area than I'm, you know, I was expecting. And so once I saw that there were mosquitoes, everything becomes a mosquito. Like I saw a little piece of lint on the ground and I was like, oh my God, a mosquito. I see a little dot on the wall and I'm like, oh, a mosquito, I have to kill it. Like it makes you paranoid. I see a gnat flying around, it's like, ah, it's a mosquito. So they make you paranoid, like they're everywhere. Um, and I feel like I see them everywhere and I can feel like them. Like if there's anything on me, it's like, ah, oh, it's a mosquito. <laughs> 
The fourth reason, real reason why mosquitoes are assholes is that they ruin simple pleasures like leaving doors open, like leaving windows open. Like thank God my Airbnb here has screens, which is not always typical here, but like, you know, I, I see a mosquito in this room where I am right now and I like, go and close the door to my bedroom and turn off the light and then open the door and then go in there and turn off, off the light. And I don't, I'm saying it wrong, but basically it's like I have to run from room to room with closing doors so that I can not have the mosquito in my bedroom all night with me. Um, you can't shower cause, or, or even like use the toilet because they hide under the toilet and then come up and bite your ass while you're trying to pee. That is not nice. Um, and then like two nights ago, I was sitting here and I heard a little meow and I was like, oh, a kitty. Like I have, there's not a lot of kitties, you know, around here and I miss kitties. And then I like looked and then I listened and I realized it was a fucking mosquito in my ear. Like the mosquito was like, <laughs> so I can't even be like, oh, there's a little kitty, there's a little kitten. It was a fucking mosquito <laughs> in my ear. That's fucked up. So you know, really when you think about it, you know, mosquitoes being greedy, they make you suffer long after they're gone, they make you paranoid and they ruin simple pleasures. I thought, those motherfuckers sound like my exes. <laughs> or they sound like any assholes, whether they're insectoid or not. Or, you know, maybe these are maybe just, you know, that's just, it's just trauma. These are descriptions of trauma, <laughs> all four things. Um, so yeah, those are the real reasons that mosquitoes are assholes. I would also like to add that there is a spectrum of assholery. Just like with people, mosquitoes are also, there's different kinds of assholes. So um, the most polite mosquitoes I ever met were in Oaxaca in the, in the, up in the mountains years ago. And they were little and they were black and they drew blood when they bit you, but they barely itched or made a little welt. Like they were kind of polite. It was a little traumatizing at first, but then they didn't leave a whole lot of residual effect. The most a-hole mosquitoes ever were in Glorieta Mesa in New Mexico. I lived out there in a tent for a month farming 23 years ago, and I have never had mosquitoes, you know, like they'll bite your sensitive spots that are outside, like outside your clothes, like your hands and your ankles and whatnot. Those fuckers went in my clothes. Like they bit my boobies. They bit my ass. It was horrible. I think they bit through my clothes. Like they were, they were evil. And I even took a picture of my legs that summer. It was, I barely slept because I was getting bitten so much that, and they were just huge welts that you can't sleep. You need to be laying on some part of your body in order to sleep. It reminds me when I was living in Southern Mexico in Tabasco for a month when I was about 20 years old. And it was like, it was like I was a chicken on a spit because they had, you slept in hammocks there because it was so fucking hot and humid that if you tried to sleep on a bed, it would just be like drenched in sweat. So people sleep in hammocks, which is not as comfortable as it sounds. But then that just meant I was like a 360 degree buffet for the mosquitoes. I just went from, from being the buffet to uh, the bed dying of sweat. So anyway, you know, I've got a little, a little trauma there, but yeah, there's a, there's a wide range of assholery in both mosquitoes and in humans. And I hope that uh, wherever you go and whatever you do, that you find ways to enjoy the, the finer things of life. Like I did two nights ago, trying to record the wonderful sounds of the night with the crickets and the night birds without getting fucking eaten alive. So let that be a lesson to you all and let that be a metaphor for how we navigate both the pleasures and the dangers of being alive. <laughs> That's your wisdom and wackiness for today. Bye.